In this video, we're continuing to look at the Yen Tai Chi and um, express different applications for it. This one is based on a variation of the movement itself. So sometimes when you see people do the begin Tai Chi movement in Tai Chi forms, they bend their knees, they step out to the side, they shift their weight, and instead of everything coming up together, their arms come up as their body goes down. So they step out and they do this, and then they push down and their body comes up. So that's a variation that you can practice, and I'll show you the reason why that's done sometimes. So to practice this on your own, you would begin like you're beginning the form, bend the knees, step out to the left, shift the weight. As the arms come up, you go down. As you go up, the arms go down. You shift to the left, step in with the right, straighten the legs. Then you're going to do it to the other side, bend the knees, step out to the right, shift the weight even between the legs. Arms come up as you go down, Arms go down as you go up, shift to the right, step in, and straighten the legs. So that's how you would practice on your own. By itself, this application isn't completely useful. Usually it has to be tied to another movement of Tai Chi. I'm going to show it to you with roll back so that you can see how this can be used along with another movement. So the attack on this one is a bear hug from behind. So with the bear hug from behind, your arms are trapped. Now what you don't want to do is try to lift the arms because they're not going to move. The person who's holding you is too strong. What you want to do is leave the parts that are in contact with them where they are. So he's holding on to my arms. I'm going to leave them there and I'm going to move my body down. So even if he's holding really tight, he can control the parts he's touching, but he can't control the parts in between that. So I'm just going to slide down. I want to stay relaxed. If you tense up, he's going to be able to hold on to you. So you relax everything. You slide down, you let your shoulders go up, you let your arms go up. So the idea is you're working your way out of this grip. As you go down, the shoulders go up here. The problem if you just do that part is that you're making it easier for him to choke you. So if I'm here and I drop down and I lift the shoulders and I do nothing else here, all he needs to do is just slide up and he's got me in a really bad spot. So I want to do something more than that. So whichever hand is on top, his right hand is on top in this situation, it could be his left, doesn't matter. I'm going to use my opposite hand and just hold on to that so that as I go down, that's not going to slide up and choke me. What I want to do is I relax, I go down. It looks like my shoulders are coming up, but notice they aren't going up. They're staying where they are. In relation to me, they're going up, but it feels like, to him, it feels like I'm just sliding out of his grip because I'm staying in contact with the arms and the shoulders, letting them stay where they are, and I'm moving down. As I do that, I'm going to hold his right hand, because it's the one that's furthest out, with my left. I'm going to fill this space, and as I come through, I'm going to lift his elbow over here using my arm. I'm going to keep this grip, and I just made an opening for me, so I'm going to lift, turn, and roll back. So I'm holding the blade of his hand, with my hand. So the palm of my hand is on the back of his hand, my thumb is pointing up his arm, and my fingers are wrapped around the blade of his hand, or the pinky side of his hand. I'm twisting that, and it's going to make his body start to turn. I'm controlling his elbow here. So if he tries to turn around this way to hit me here, go and go back. As he does that, I can control his body at the elbow here. So I have this twist up through his arm, and I have the control at the elbow. So once again, we're going to go through this. He's going to bear hug me from behind. The things I want to keep in mind, relax. If you tense up, he can control you. If you've ever tried to hold a toddler when they're throwing a tantrum and they just go limp, it's like they, it's impossible to hold them. That's basically what you're doing here is you're staying limp and you're moving down, letting the shoulders stay where they are. In relation to you, they're going up. In relation to him, they're staying where they are. As you do that, you're going to trap the hand that's on top. So right now, his right hand is on top, so I use my left hand to trap that. I'm going to slide down. Now my left hand's tied up because it's holding on to something. My right hand's not, so I can make an opening over here. And if I'm going to do this, I need to keep this full. I need to keep Pung right here so that I can control what he's doing with this arm. I keep contact this whole time. If I let go, then he just slides in and chokes me. If I keep it full and he tries to slide in, I can just keep pushing and roll through here, control the elbow. So there's a variation that a lot of people like a little bit more with this one. So the beginning is the same, so you start with begin Tai Chi. You sink, your shoulders move up in relation to you, in relation to him they stay the same. Here, you trap that hand, 
and you're going to reach up and grab for this shoulder, or for his elbow rather. You're grabbing toward your shoulder, grabbing his elbow. So you have control of that as you go through here, and you're controlling it the whole time. A lot of people really like that aspect of holding on here as they're going through, because then if they don't have that pung really well, they still have control. So even if he tries to slide in to choke me, I can hold this back and come through, and then I have my roll back. So the things you want to remember is whichever hand is on top, that's the hand you want to control. So he's always been grabbing with his right hand on top. If he grabbed with his left hand on top, I would use my right hand to reach across and control that. That way I can make an opening with my left. I sink, fill that space, make the opening, and I would travel through on this side, here, and control the arm. So whichever side is on top, you grab with the opposite hand. If the right hand's on top, I grab with my left. If the left hand's on top, I grab with my right. Whichever hand I'm grabbing with, that's the hand I'm going away from. So when I sink down and make this opening, I don't want to try to go toward the hand that I'm holding with, because I haven't made an opening over there. I made an opening over here. This hand is free to do things. This one is not. This is keeping me from getting choked with this hand. Now, something that you don't want to do is hold your breath and keep your lungs full here while you're trying to relax, because you're not going to be able to relax. When you relax, relax your body. Let the air out, let yourself collapse a little bit, and then fill that space with your structure and slide out of that structure that you've made. Okay, so we're going to do it a little bit closer. Now, here when I grab, I'm taking my fingers and I'm grabbing the blade of his hand here. I'm wrapping around that and holding on. My thumb is pointing up along his arm and it just falls down here. The idea is I want to hold on to this so I can twist it this way as I go through. So I do my sink, open, I can hold on here if I want, come through, see how my hand grip hasn't changed, and I'm rotating this way as I pull back. The idea is it's spending, sending a spiral up here to make this uncomfortable here. The downside is it sometimes will tend to turn them, so you want to make sure you have control of the arm so you can keep them from getting to you. Now, this twist that you're doing with the hands, as you're pulling back, you're twisting the wrist this way. So it's going like this, and you're trying to send that spiral up his arm to him. So you're using that to push over and pull back. So you're using that to keep tension all the way through his arm to change his mind about trying to want to fight against it because you're rotating this, basically crossing the radius and ulna and putting pressure on them, but continuing that pressure all the way up through to the shoulder. The downside of this one is as you do it, coming out, if you don't control that elbow, then he can just spin around with his other hand and get to you here. So that's why you want to make sure you control that elbow here, because if he tries to spin, I can push up into it. And it's easy for me to change his structure and change his balance by controlling the elbow. So here, if I don't hold on, he comes back and he can get me there. And I either have to deal with that, do something else over here, or as I come through, I can control the elbow and change just a simple push up into his structure, change the fact that he can reach me to where he can't reach me just by controlling there at the elbow. So that's really important is make sure you get that hand at the elbow for the roll back. So that's one more application for begin Tai Chi. And the begin Tai Chi part of it is just this. So it's just that getting out of that bear hug. If you do that by itself, like I said before, you're just helping the person choke you. So you want to make sure you follow it up with something. In this particular application, we paired it with roll back and with a chin na move twisting the arm. So I wasn't just pulling his arm back, I was making sure I was twisting his arm to keep control of him through that whole thing. In future videos, we'll look more into some chin techniques and expound more on what I was doing with his hand and wrist. For now, just know that you want to hold on to the blade of his hand and twist the arm, sending that spiral up his arm as you come through. Make sure you control the elbow. That's all that there is for this application of the Begin Tai Chi posture paired with roll back. I hope you enjoyed this and found it very useful for your Tai Chi education. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you would like to receive notifications when I post more videos.